So now we're going to see a little center and uh, defender work. We're going to have Brenda uh, as our uh, defender and Jess now as our center. Uh, she is a defender with the national team, was with the Olympic team in 2008. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, these guys have qualified, the U.S. has, for the 2012 London Olympics. So these two uh, we hope to see in the water in London next summer. Uh, we've got uh, Jess now going to show us how underwater, how she holds and waits uh, for the ball to come across to her side. The idea being that the ball is uh, being denied access to her by Brenda, who's in great position here. Jess is just going to hold her position in the water. So you'll notice she works her legs hard, keeping her hips up. Both of them in a uh, bit of a wrestling match here for position. Jess trying to hold herself center cage, not get pushed wide. She's along the two, three meter line, center cage. They're both just locked up. As the ball now gets to the other side, we're going to see Jess see it come across. She's going to reach across now, underneath with the right arm, secure with the left under the elbow, and then back, the lower back in to Brenda to establish position to receive the pass. Timing is everything on this. We'll see her do it again now. We're looking at this from the point of view of the goalie. Jess waiting for the ball to come across from two over to five. She sees the ball going across underneath, back in hard, and establishing the position. We're going to do it one more time. Same uh, concept on the pass. This time, I want you to watch what Jess is doing with her legs. So we've watched the upper body focused on that slide across the seal off move. Let's now watch what she does with her legs. You'll see her go with a little double leg kick here as she first establishes position as she tries to carry a lot of momentum from this seal off move into Brenda to force Brenda to drop her hips and to assert herself, maintain the, the optimal position in front of the goal. Ball is now passed across in position to come in, breaststroke kick, breaststroke kick, now egg beater as she holds that position and a wide base, a wide target to receive the ball. Excellent. So now Jess has established position. She has Brenda behind her. She's awaiting the arrival of the ball. Her goal is to separate from Brenda such that she can get a shot, uh, but she cannot bring the hand above the water or elbow up high and push off, she's going to use a shrug in her shoulder to get an extension to the ball and to create that separation get a shot off. We'll do it one more time. Notice the timing on the move as the ball is on its way in. She is separating as the ball is arriving. Ball's passed across, good positioning, shrug and extension of the ball, up with it quickly to shoot. Now, the other option here is to turn and attack the goal. So we can separate to get a shot. We can also, uh, Brenda, make a more attacking move and put even more pressure on the defense. Uh, if she were to be grabbed in this position as she's extending away to shoot, she might draw an exclusion foul, but if she has time and there's no defender crashing, she can turn and attack the goal. And in this one, you're going to notice she'll drop that left elbow under Brenda's left armpit, arm along the side, and turn to the goal and put herself in a position where she has a high probability of scoring a goal, in which case it, Brenda, if she were to foul her, would be committing a penalty foul. So instead of getting a six on five, she'd have the penalty shot. So back into position, ball comes in, turn to the goal, reestablish those legs, have the ball up to score. If Brenda grabs her, penalty shot. 